Ayama sauce. I have my green pepper, my onion, yellow pepper, and tatashi. Then my ginger and garlic. I'm going to wash everything and blend it together. So I'll be using goat meat. The one I already cut into little sizes and the one that I already cut in normal shapes. I'm going to pour my goat meat. Some seasoning cubes. Salt. Add my onion. And a little drop of water. Then my meat till it's softened. My pepper, onion, ginger, and garlic carefully washed. I like removing the seeds so that I won't have to find the seeds in my sauce. So I'm going to blend it now. This is my iru. Of course, there is no ofada sauce. That is Ayamasi sauce without iru. So I'm going to add this also into the blender. Blended pepper mix into the pot and cook till the water dry off completely. So my the water in the pepper mix is already completely dried up. I'm going to pour my pepper, my oil my palm oil and fry as if you are frying your normal tomato I'm going to fry this until it is dry while I'm frying the mixed pepper I'm going to pour in my already cooked meat leaving out the stock At this point, I'm going to stop frying because I don't really like my ayamasa sauce to turn out dark. I'm going to stop frying, pour in my meat stock, my seasoning cubes, and my egg because it's sassy. When there is no egg, it looks like it is not really that ayamasi sauce so adding egg makes the signature look of the ayamasi sauce come real so i have my sauce almost ready so i'm going to cover it and cook for two minutes guys my ayamasi sauce is ready